And ideally socks and shoes off because feeling the floor through your feet is very important. All those um, little sensors on the bottom of your feet will tell you where everything is. And that's a big thing about Pilates is um, we're not only strengthening the muscles, um, working your core, stretching things out, all of the things that we associate with Pilates, but we also get to know where all of our joints are, where all of our limbs are in space, um, imagining, knowing deep down where everything is without having to look at them. So all the tactile feedback that you can get through your feet, through the floor, that kind of thing, all feeds into the movement. So brilliant. Feet on the floor, toes pointing forwards. Bend those knees just slightly, just a softening through the knees. Scoop and tuck your bottom under. Drop through your shoulders. Broaden and open out through your chest. Tuck through your chin. Lengthen through your neck. Hands on your hips. And again, that touch on the hips helps you feel where things are. Just taking your weight from side to side. Good. And all of this gives you feedback each leg drawing up tightening up through each leg as you take the weight onto it and it's almost as important to, to relax off the other leg so you take the weight onto one leg squeeze and tighten but the other one relaxes slightly so that's just as important to be able to let go of the muscles on one side compared with the other good brilliant and then just forwards and backwards Try not to take the toes off or the heels off. We are literally just taking our weight forwards and backwards. Brilliant. Let's settle in the middle. So not side to side, not front to back, just bang in the middle there. Lift and separate your toes if you can. Place them down on the floor. Feel like you're aware that your feet and your toes are touching the floor. Brilliant. Let's just do some small squats. So these are working on the top part of the squat. The squeezing of the thighs. Squeeze everything up as you come up. Tighten the thigh, tighten your glutes, squeeze in through your tummy. Keep your posture through the top half. You are allowing it to come forward slightly and back up, but not dramatically. Brilliant. Good. And with your hands like this, you should have your thumbs in your glutes, the top of your glutes there. And you should be aware of a bit of action going on through there as you come up tall. Brilliant, we're going to do that on one leg. So take the weight over to your right leg, pick up the left, let's bring it up in front of us. And then we're doing those little squats just on our right leg. Good, bend and straighten. Try to make sure that kneecap points straight forwards each time. The first few will be a little bit wobbly and then hopefully you will get your balance. Lovely. Three, two, one. Take the weight onto the other leg. Pick up, good. And then again, first few a little bit wobbly and then keep going. They are just mini squats. They're just little, little movements and we're working on that last little bend and straighten of the knee. Really great for knee health and strength, and even very good for this section here. Brilliant, come back down, lovely. Point your right toe out to the front. I want you just lifting straight up to the front with a pointed toe. Hips nice and level, pull up tall. there check your hips make sure everything's pointing forwards and straight out to the side ballerinas by the way <laughs> not that I ever was <laughs> lovely side check the hips and straight out 
breathe, drop the shoulders. Lovely. Come back in. We're just going to do some pelvic tilts. of that movement the same. Good. With straight knees now, I want you to lift up one heel and lift up that side of the hip at the same time. Come down and do the same on the other. These are the sort of exercises that are nice to do in the comfort of your own home, aren't they? You'd feel a little bit silly in a class, so <laughs> behind closed doors is perhaps better. Opposite for me, I present myself to everybody on camera. <laughs> Good, keep drawing in in here and sort of think about what you need to use and move to do these movements. Lovely, stop there. So all around your spine should feel like it's been moved a little bit. Knees are slightly soft and I want you sliding down, out with the arm, down and back up other side slide down out down and up and keep going side out breathe and the stretch through the neck, pushing the shoulder down all the time. Great, and then the other side. Oh, sometimes it's difficult to take your head over to the other side once it's stretched on one side. Pushing this hands down, stretching over. Good, hands behind your head. Come forward and elbows together. Come up and widen. Elbows together. And widen again. Good. Good, keep going. Two more. Good. Stretch all the way up like that. Pushing over to one side and come up, push over to the other side, push up and away with that arm, so the arm that's the other side to the side you're moving, push up and over. Good. Don't bend the other one, both of them are straight. bigger squats. We're going to squat down, bring the arms in front, open together, come up, draw in. Down, wide, together, up. Good. Drop through the shoulders, squeeze in through your tummy. <sighs> Breathe. <laughs> Straight forwards. You 
roll up through your calves. You think about squeezing through your glutes and staying strong through your middle. Mindful of all the different parts of you that are important through this movement. Squat down, lift, down, up. Okay? Squat, lift, down, up. Squat, heel raise. Good. Tighten through everything on the way up. shoulders here um, for some reason that helps you hang a little bit more breathe in breathe out I think it sort of helps you to relax through the shoulders perhaps bring those arms then to the lower back and stretch the elbows straight up good bring the hands down and just a couple of bend and straighten through the knees Make sure that head is heavy. And swing the arms forwards and back like that. Great. Come down onto hands and knees. Good. And then just with the pelvis, move that again. So kind of stick your bottom out. Around the shoulders, come down the back up again. And then let's include the whole back. So think about the shoulders and the pelvis moving at the same time. Right, uh, left arm, round, snow angel like here. Four, keep going. Seven. Lovely, bring that one down. Take the weight through it and recognise that that arm has to do a nice amount of work, just weight bearing through the floor. Stretch the other one up. Round. Oh, good. Bring that arm down. Let's come down onto the elbows. Clasp the hands together. I would like you to stretch out your left leg, check yourself and draw in your tummy nice and strong because that's the bit that will need to work nicely in order to control things. Bend and straighten. One, two, three, five, six, seven, keeping those hips level. And then bend your knee halfway and up and down. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Lovely, bring that leg down. That's quite tiring, I know. <laughs> Stretch out the other one. 
Tuck your bottom under. Bend and straighten. One, two, three, Six. Keep those hips level and concentrate on your tummy. Halfway up and off we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten. Lovely bit of glutes work there. Sit to back onto your heels. And I think I've just wished this sun in because I was thinking to myself, oh, I forgot to put my sun cream on again this morning. And then the sun went in. <laughs> Come forward, drop your hips down and stretch that way. Sit back on your heels again. arms up you are going to have to rotate through your chest just a little bit but and you may want to lift your head up as well that does make a difference so see if you can keep the head down and see if you can stop the chest rotating too much but I give you permission if you can't lift your hand off the floor good and then let's come forward for the next annoying bit that you're gonna find <laughs> Picking up one foot at a time like that. Oh, it's not nice in the kneecaps, I always remember. <laughs> Don't put pressure on yourself to bend the knee too far here either. Oh, lovely, brilliant. Okay, coming around. I've just noticed some ferns have popped up in the back of the garden, which were all curled up just even a couple of days ago. So that's nice to see. Um, up tall. Good, squeeze in your tummy, drop your shoulders, chest open, arms out in front, scoop under and stay there. Feel what you should be feeling in that position, which is the back, lower back opening up a little bit. In here, working, scooping in. Rest of the body still quite up tall, shoulders down, and I don't want you closed in your chest. I want you to try to keep that a little bit open. Okay, come up tall. Let's come back again hold 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 come up and then again curl back scoop strongly and hold 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 good straighten the legs come forward <sighs> work hands behind your head legs straight similar thing curl back scoop in and hold 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 pull up tall again knees slightly bent if you need to i recognize not everybody's hamstrings will let them get into this position then let's go again curl back hands behind the head chest open, chin tucked, and then lift and down, alternate legs, scoop in through that lower tummy, Take the 
leg out to the side. Think about activating the muscle that works to take the leg to the side. Don't just rely on gravity. That's what's important. It's moments like these that I'm grateful for this being the job that I do as I'm staring up at the blue sky, teaching all you lovely people. <laughs> Make sure you get a nice tense tension through the quad and pull up the heel and then come back in and then the other leg out push away and then come back in squeezing in through your tummy chest open down first and then you try to imprint one vertebra at a time as you come back down. Tucking under, curling up, pushing your knees away, coming right up to the shoulders but not overdoing it. Ribs back down and curl back down. Good. Curl up, stay at the top. Let go of one bum cheek and squeeze and let go of the other and squeeze. Good. Six. allow the hips to twist a little bit when you do this when you let go that's what you're doing you're letting the hip drop down slightly and it will be harder to let go on one side compared with the other that is completely normal Good. and then just to really push you let's go out and in with the knees two three stay strong tuck under Curl, curl, curl back down. Brilliant. Okay, so it's nice to move on to a very different exercise after that because you'll be feeling certain things, of course. Right, leg up to tabletop, scoop in, keep those ribs down, draw in through here, pick up the other one, down and down. Good. So, what we're looking at hips staying still, tummy staying flat, not too much pressure going through your feet as each foot touches the floor. Try different positions with the hands, even here. Good. Other leg. Ribs down. Even out to the side. Lovely. Knees and toes together for a nice one next. Arms out to the side now, palms facing up, rolling the knees over and pull, pull, pull back to the middle. Pick up and push the knee over to the side and draw everything back central again. Good. Trying to keep those hips, uh, ribs still. So if you need to get some ribs, head to the opposite side just to get a true rotation and twist of the whole spine by fixing in the middle brilliant um, okay so I would like you to with the right leg to come up to tabletop Stretch it out, pull all the way up and back down. That's one. Toes up, heel down. Two, three, four, four, 
push down through the other leg. Five, six, seven, ten. Good. Foot down. Pick up the other one to tabletop. Stretch up. And off we go. One, two. both legs down good stuff so let's do a little um a difficult series for your abs now so always remember that you can stop and move down to the lower level of each exercise as you go if it becomes too difficult so we're going to do 20 toe taps 20 one leg out at a time and 20 stretching away don't pay attention to that terrible technique i just demonstrated so legs up draw in tap one two three Four, five, six, eight, nine, ten. Concentrating on posture, open chest, chin tucked. Ten. Good. Sideways. One, two, three. Keep breathing. And another ten. Oh, this is when I regret this series. <laughs> oh, keep working your tummy. Lovely, now we're going away. One, two, three. Trying to straighten the leg each time. Keep working in here. Crunch if you want for the last ten. Oh, lovely. Keep it there. Hold on. And stretch that hip in towards you. Stretching out the other. Lovely. Same leg. Stretch straighter. Straight arms. Look. Hooked hands behind the knee. Cross it over the other leg and pull in to stretch there. So you're grabbing hold behind the other leg there. This foot's crossed over and both hands behind the other leg. Breathe. Good. Now bring this knee in, the other knee. Even correct your posture in this position. Stretch the leg away. Hold on behind the knee and stretch straight up. Hook the hands behind the knee and nice straight arms. chest and have a little wiggle from side to side or a circle around with the knees there good and then we're going to do one last abdominal exercise arms straight up legs up opposite arm to leg and come back in see if you can get that one down to the floor and come back up good work cool if you're struggling with getting it to the floor stretch straight away from you like that to rest from that one. Okay, good work. All right, we are going to do um, the glutes kneeling today. So come up, kneel 
going up. This is a good position to work in. Um, it does really make you work through your middle but a little bit more. Um, if you are going to do some hand weights and arm weights, sometimes it's good to do them in kneeling. It gives you, you know, some work around your middle as well. But for these glutes that we're going to do, we're going to come over to the side onto the hand, the other hand around the ear there. We're tapping the floor with the toe and lifting like that. So you might have already started, but I shall take you through from the beginning. Breathe in, breathe out, over to the side, hand here, off we go. One, two. Let's do another turn. That hand shouldn't have too much weight down through it. And the knee under hip. Lovely. So when you come over to the side, your knee, you should bend like that so your knee becomes underneath the hip. Let's go to the other side. If you're on your fingertips, even on that side, there shouldn't be too much weight going through it. One, two. we're going to the other side again there and what we're going to do is take the leg out to the side and pulse up and down okay three two one over we go leg out and pulse two three four five six seven eight nine ten another ten four five six seven eight nine ten lovely come back up let's do the same on the other side off we go leg straight out off we go body will want to do this. <laughs> You've got to try and keep it as strong as you can. So off we go to the side, stretch out, balance already. Forwards and backwards. One, two, three, straight knee. Another ten. Lovely, come back up. Breathe in again. Over to the other side. Water bottle over, forwards and backwards. One, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Another ten. Oh, well done. Good. Cross your legs and come forward. And that should stretch your glutes a little bit, especially that gluteus medius, which is that side glute there that we've just used, the most important of the glutes. Maybe. For certain things. No muscle is more important than another in the body, it just depends what it does. But it keeps your hips level, protects your back. Lovely, legs out in a V. <sighs> I know you love doing this one. Put your hands behind you there, pushing up with the chest. Lovely, push up and open with the chest. Come over and forwards. <gasps> Breathe. Tight, tight, tight inner thighs. They're your adductors. Come from side to side a little. Good. Let's come over like that. Come on. Trying to distract you from the fact that your inner thigh is too tight, I'm sure. Unless there's any gymnasts out there doing it. <laughs> good, good. All right, let's come into kneeling. But I want you actually just a little bit closer than we'd normally be here. And what I want you to do is lean forwards on this front leg. It's this area that we're concentrating on. We're trying to stretch down into this leg so your chest is on your thigh there and you're pushing forward slightly and you're pushing this heel down towards the floor so we're stretching the lower part of that calf Your 
chest forwards onto that leg and push the heel down at the same time and you should feel a nice stretch through that calf. Lovely. Step the first leg forwards and I want you just to, um, in quite a relaxed manner, you've got your hands either side of this front foot, your other leg is quite far out the back and I just want you to sink into that. Your knee should be sort of down around the armpit of the other side. And that should stretch the front here and the back there. I said that completely opposite what it is, but you know. Sit all the way back onto the heel, as long as you can through that ankle. Go halfway back if your ankle isn't wanting you to, and then come forward so you're stretching down the back of this front leg here. A little bit probably through the spine as well, even through the arms. Lovely stuff, other leg forwards again. And remember we're doing a nice relaxed stretch here, the hands are either side of that foot. The other leg stretched quite far back. And sit all the way back into your heel. Great work. Come onto your hands and knees again. Um, I would like you to stretch all the way up and round with that right arm, pushing through. And I want us to hold here and embrace this stretch. Three, two, one, and then come back up again, up and round, and through again. Five, four, three, two, one. One more of those up and round and through five four three two one place that hand down and then the other one and through and five four three two one brilliant up and through five four three two one good good up and round and through. Five, four, three, two, one. Great. Okay, tucking those toes under, stretching your bottom up, pushing the chest towards the toes. That's what you've got to think about there. Let's push one heel down to the floor and hold. Ten, nine, eight. Two, one, swap sides. Two, one, good. Both come up and down. So sort of calf raises almost, raise and down. I'm trying to push into the stretch a little bit more with each one. Lovely. Walking your hands to your feet as far as you can and then bend your knees if you need to. And then we'll hang here briefly. Allowing your upper back to stretch. Even hook your hands together maybe there and push down and away. We can hook the hands behind us and stretch over. Just as we did on the way down, bend and straighten both knees. And then curl back up. Good. It's a little bit strong on the lower back there, I think, all of that forward bending. So um, have your hands on your hips and rotate around just to ease off any tensions that you might have built up. Pilates should be a nice mix of um, 
helping with your posture, poise, stretching, but also tightening and strengthening things. And yes, those muscles are in your back as well. So if your back feels a little bit tight afterwards, it can just be because we've worked some of those correct muscles. So circle back round the other way. Just all of this easing things off afterwards. Good. Stretch up with your right, down with your left. Bend the knees, scoop in, come around, hands together to the front and curl back up. Stretch up with the left, down with the right, round together to the front. Curl up. A couple of breaths to finish. Breathe in. Whoop. Breathe out, down onto your heels, drop the shoulders, lift the shoulders, breathe in, drop and breathe out. Breathe in, stretch up and round. And one more, missing the tree. Breathe in and up, hands behind your head, breathe out. Breathe in, lift, <sighs> breathe out and drop. In through your nose, nice deep breath for the last one. Out, round and down. Great stuff, well done. Have a lovely weekend.